Good morning. Welcome to Trace of Petaluma and Cooking with the Coastie. My name is CS1 Jason Merrill. Today we'll be making a sweet cornbread waffle with a maple sriracha glazed chicken thigh served on a bed of arugula topped with pickled red onions. The first step in our process today will be making the pickled red onions. We're going to do a quick, simple pickling method for our red onions. The first ingredient will be half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of rice wine vinegar. We're going to add six whole cloves, a half a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. To the mix, the last ingredient will be two tablespoons of granulated sugar. We'll now bring these up to heat until the sugar is dissolved. While the pickling mixture is coming to a a slight boil, you can stir the sugar until it's completely dissolved. That sugar is now dissolved. We'll take the two ounces of red onion and do a cambro. And we will cover the red onions with the mixture. We'll now cover this and place it in the refrigerator for four to six hours. Our next step, we make in the sriracha maple syrup for topping the waffles. Here I have a half a cup of maple syrup and one tablespoon of sriracha. This may be adjusted to your liking for the spiciness of the syrup. Again, just like the pickles, you want to make this in advance cover it, let it refrigerate, and the flavors will meld together to make a syrup that has a little more depth to it. Now we'll be making the marinade slash glaze for the chicken. We're going to start again with some maple syrup. I have a half a cup. A little low sodium soy sauce. A little bit of honey, a half a cup. And again, we have one tablespoon of sriracha. This skin can be increased or decreased to your liking. You really need to whisk this one together. The honey is a little bit thicker. You need to make sure it's fully incorporated. You're gonna pour this over your chicken and let it sit for only one hour. And you want to ensure that the chicken is fully covered in the liquid. So the chicken has marinated for an hour. We are now going to brown it off in the saute pan and finish it off in the oven. The oven is going to be at 350 degrees and will only go in the oven for 5 to 8 minutes. There's a lot of sugar content in this marinade so you want to be very careful when working with the heat. You want to keep it at a medium heat to ensure that it does not burn. I'm going to start with a hot pan and about one tablespoon of olive oil. You want to ensure the oil is hot in the pan before you add the chicken. You can tell by a slight shimmer on the surface of the oil, the oil is getting hot. We're going to saute the chicken only for a minute or so per side, just enough to give it a little bit of color. Once you have nice color in your chicken on both sides, you can go ahead and transfer it to your sheet pan that's been sprayed with a little pan spray. We will now cook this in the oven between 5 to 8 minutes at 350 degrees. While the chicken is cooking, it's a perfect opportunity to mix up your waffle mixture. You're going to sift together the dry ingredients. We'll be using an all-purpose flour, a fine ground cornmeal, a little 
salt, baking powder, and granulated sugar. Once these are sifted together, you can combine your wet ingredients. We're using whole milk, a quarter cup of butter, which will melt, and two eggs. Once you've combined the wet and the dry ingredients, you're going to cook your waffles for three and a half minutes. You're going to be using a six ounce ladle for the waffle batter. After a few hours of pickling, your red onions should appear more opaque in color and the liquid should be a pink color. I went ahead and drained out about an ounce of the red onions and we'll be using this for a garnish on our chicken and waffles. We're also going to place the chicken on a bed of arugula. I went ahead and washed the arugula and it's ready for plating. And remember to wear gloves at this point. They waffle when you're ready to eat. We're gonna go ahead and cut it and plate it at this point. While the waffle's cooking, the chicken also came up to temperature. Okay, give this a chop. We get served on a small bed of arugula. Topped with some of the red onions and finished with the sriracha maple syrup.